Okay guys, so in this video I will show you how you can use your one mouse and one keyboard in both of your desktops. So as you can see my mouse is going from one desktop to another desktop. So I will show you how you can configure Synergy to use this properly. As you can see I have opened a notepad in another PC and I am using a keyboard of another PC. So how it works? You were thinking how it works, how you have configured Synergy. What's up in there guys, it's Booster Mind. so let's begin. Okay guys, so this video is about how to install your Synergy in your both of your PCs and how to configure Synergy in both of the PCs and getting it worked. So I mean how your keyboard can work on both of your PCs by just plugging into it one PC. How you can just use your one keyboard and one mouse in both of your PCs by just using the software. So as you can see, I have two desktops over there. The main one is the first PC is the PC in which I have you booster mines wallpaper so as you can see the mouse is connected to the first PC and I want to use this keyboard in second PC so this is the second PC it's not connected to each and everything over there as you can see it's simple okay guys so this is my first PC the PC from which I have to use my mouse and keyboard in another PC so this is my main PC in which the mouse and keyboard has been connected so what I'm just doing right now is go to start and install Synergy in your PC. So I've already installed it. So I'm going to open this application right now. So I'm clicking on it. So as you can see, this is the user interface of Synergy. For my case, it's version 1.3.1. As you can see, this is whole interface of this application. So right now, what I'm going to do is just go to your start. And what they have to do is just type R U and run click on run and when the dialog box open you have to type CMD command prompt CMD as you know what I mean so when the CMD starts you have to just type IP config as you can see the spelling IP config and click on enter so you will see a lot of information there so don't get confused i will show you properly what you have to mention is just as you can see ipv4 address so this is the thing that you have to note in your notebook 1.92.168.43.244 so everyone's ip address is different from each other so don't copy mine you have to watch your in your pc so go to share this computer keyboard and mouse and click on configure okay so click on the plus button and you have to here you have to type that IP address which is showing in your PC so in my case it's showing 1.92.168.43.244 and in aliases you have to type nothing so I am typing main server so it's optional whether you have to type or not it's up to you so I am clicking ok so I've done for my first PC okay so for the second PC I have to see this is the IP address you have to type of your second PC so let's go to second PC this is my second PC as I have shown you this is my second PC so let's find out what IP address does it have so I'm doing just the same thing go to your start and write down CMD Whether you can write down CMD or run, it's both the same. From here you have to type CMD and click on OK. And do the same thing again. IP config. As you can see IP config. And click on enter. As you can see you will receive a lot of information here so don't get confused as I saying and this is the IP address which I was looking for 192.168.43.4 so I have write note down this IP address in my notebook and I have to type this same address in here as you can see the screen name 192.168.43.4 and alias name should be client pc okay so that's all for the information now just go and click on ok as you can see I have two screens so I've added two IP address over there and this means whether it's the left of the desktop so it's in my case it's about right so I will click on right and 
from right of which desktop so my second pc desktop so i will click on second pc ip address of definitely the one which left so i will click on 244 so let's click c 244 yes that's all now click on the plus icon you see over there plus icon okay so now it's you have done so this means your cursor will go from your right desktop to another desktop but getting your cursor back to your main desktop is the main thing so let's click on left and 244 and 4 so it's basically the same in the first one you have taken right so in the second one we will take left this means your cursor will go from one desktop to second desktop but in return it must came back to the first desktop if you do not do this settings in your pc so this means you you will hang your synergy you have to quit this synergy because it won't work it will go from one desktop to another and it won't be able to come back again so as you can see this advanced option is screen name so you have to change this screen name or else you will get an error so type your this PC IP address this PC IP address is 192.168.43.244 you have to type this in your screen name rather than your name you have to type this IP address over there and click on OK as you can see the settings have been done for this server PC for which PC mouse and keyboard is going to be shared this PC configuration is done so let's go to the second PC as you can see this is the second PC so over here you have to type other PC as you can see it's written down over there use another computer shared keyboard and mouse client so other computer host name so here you will type the first PC IP address as you can see 192.168.43.244 was the IP address of first PC in which I have connected my mouse and keyboard okay so let's get straight forward as you can see this IP address over here it's for the second PC right so now you have to click on advance and as you can see this PC name is booster mines so let's delete this and type an IP address of this PC I mean this second PC as you can see the IP address is over there is showing as 192.168.43.4 so I will type the same thing and advance option as you can see I am typing this dot 43 dot 4 and I will click on OK now that's all now what you have to do is just let this settings be OK and let's start this click on start button on both of your PCs right now I'm clicked on start button on second PC now let's click on start on the first PC as you can see I'm done on both of the PCs now let's see what happens next so I'm taking back to this camera so let's see on the camera what happens okay guys so as you can see it's properly works as I've shown you in the starting of this video so this is the video I've used in the start to show you how you can just configure and believe me I know how the configuration goes so this is how it works basically if you like this video so please subscribe me I don't have any subscribers left in my channel because I don't know why they don't subscribe me I'm making a such a good content but believe me just subscribe me and comment yours application so I will make a video on your application please subscribe me anyways